What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today Bungie released a new teaser trailer for their reveal stream happening tomorrow August 19th at 11 a.m. Pacific. So even though this trailer is only around 52 seconds long, there's a lot of information jam-packed into it and I want to go over some of the important things that we saw within the trailer that we're going to learn more about in the reveal stream tomorrow. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we see here is the new layout for the character menu screen. We see the Night Stalker subclass in the top left and even in the top left corners of the subclass as well as some elemental guns. We can see the elements in the top left corner so we know what they are without having to hover over it. So that's pretty cool. And then we also see a glimpse at what light is or your light score. So your light score is an average of the attack and defense values across all of your currently equipped gear and so the higher light score you have the more damage you're allowed to do and the more defense you will have as well and so this will dictate what we're allowed to play you have you need to have a certain light score to enter into certain activities such as the raid such as higher level missions strikes stuff like that so we learn more about the light score in this and it doesn't tie into your actual level anymore. So your level is solely experience based. However, your light score is still important because it dictates what you can participate in in terms of activities. So in this picture, for example, this guardian is wearing a full set of rare gear, which means he's probably has a lower light score in terms of being able to play in a more higher level end game content. And then lastly at the bottom of both columns we see a ghost at the bottom left and a artifact slot in the bottom right so ghosts as we all know are going to have stats on it and this is also going to contribute to your light score however artifacts is one thing that we do not have much information on and I'm pretty excited to hear what artifacts are and what they will do for a character and how they're implemented in terms of our guardian so that's really exciting uh, to see as well. Moving on we get a glimpse of Lord Shax's Crucible inventory. Starting off at the top we can see Legendary Marks which is the new currency that we're going to be using to purchase the gear from the vendors at the tower. So we're still unsure on how this is going to convert over going into the Taken King but Legendary Marks are obtained from Daily Heroic and Daily Crucible playlists as well as dismantling legendary gear so maybe you might want to hold off on dismantling some of your legendary gear just because it might net you some legendary marks going forward once the Taken King does come out. And then we also can see toward the middle of his stock that he is selling ghost shells since ghost shells will contribute to our light score as well. Next up we get a glimpse of the newest addition to the menu which is our quest page. So the quest page shows us all our quests which covers every aspect of the game. It's the newest change to Destiny coming out in the Taken King. It covers things from challenges regarding our subclasses, story missions, as well as strikes and even crucible quest lines. So there's a lot of stuff for quests and it's really exciting because there's going to be a lot more activities and challenges that we need to complete in regards to all the quests. And on top of that, it will show us our bounties as well on the right side of the screen. And we're allowed to hold up to 16 bounties now. And we also can turn all our bounties in from this page so we will not have to travel to the tower or travel to the reef or wherever we have to go to turn in bounties to a vendor. And you can now do it anywhere you want from this page. So that's really good, more convenience and a lot to look forward to in terms of this new addition. Next up we get a glimpse of faction alliances so we will not have to wear a specific class item in order to gain reputation for a particular faction. From now on we have a faction badge shown on the screen and you can only hold one allegiance at a time and you can only change allegiances once per week so this is for each of your characters they're all separate and probably the most exciting thing to come out of this reveal teaser is this picture right here so this is exotic weapon blueprints and we don't know much about exotic weapon blueprints right now since we just found out about it however what it looks like is a collection of all the exotics that you've acquired up to that point so in this image right here we can see at the bottom we have year one primaries and it has almost all the year one primary exotic weapons I believe. 
Um, they're missing some right there, but it only shows that for year one. And in the other sections of the screen, we can see some of the older year one weapons with a Taken King emblem at the top corner. So possibly we might be able to upgrade some of the older ones, which is why they're in the year two sections, such as Thunderlord, we see Monte Carlo, Bad Juju, uh, what looks like to be a Hawkmoon, and what looks like to be a Last Word, along with that auto rifle next to Monte Carlo, which kind of resembles Soros Regime in a way. And maybe we'll be able to upgrade these and they'll have new abilities or new perks along with it. Who knows, we'll get more information on this going into tomorrow's stream. So maybe this is another way to conserve vault space and this might be another kiosk located in the tower that we can access and grab any of the exotics that we previously earned in the game and we won't have to hold on to them all the time in our vault. So this might be something new, a cool addition. We'll wait and see to learn more about it in tomorrow's stream. And lastly, they reveal more things that they're going to reveal more information about in tomorrow's stream, such as nameplate collections, artifact slot, arms day weapon from the gunsmith, exotic blueprints, collections and vaults, legendary marks, shader collections, infusion, and level 25 character boost. So some of this stuff is new to us and we have no idea what they are yet. And some of the stuff has been revealed to us in articles or videos or trailers in the past. So really exciting stuff. A lot of information coming in tomorrow's reveal stream on Twitch. Be sure to tune into it. Everyone's going to be there to learn more about the next Destiny expansion that's coming out in less than a month now. And there's a lot of excitement and hype. I'm really excited for it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. I'll leave a link to the reveal trailer if you guys want to check it out for yourselves once again. And I'll also cover some of the information that's going to be revealed tomorrow in the stream. So stay tuned for that. So thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.